Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday and I don't know how well you can see it, it is a tropical storm now, not a tropical depression. So we're now actually in tropical storm Bertha. Um, as of right now, our, ho our hotel is obviously still fine and everything and our indoor pools are still open because there is no uh, lightning and anything. So we're gonna take the kids to the indoor pools because they love that just as much as the beach and everything like that, but check it out. So it's like blowing in the waves are super, super rough. The, the red flag is up. And yeah, it's really, really, really windy. So I'll show you what it's kind of like outside. Yeah, so it's raining in. It's super windy, kind of chilly. Not very comfortable at all, yes. So that is a tropical storm Bertha coming in there, which is looking like it's gonna be like that for the next couple of days. Um, so we don't really know what all we're gonna do or if we're gonna do anything. Um, I don't know, we're still kind of talking about it. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna take them to the indoor pool. We may end up going to like another attraction or something um, a little bit later today. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. It is Wednesday. We still have planned to be here two more days. Um, we may end up going home early. I don't know. So please stay tuned so you get to know what's going on. Um, the slides are closed because of high winds. Um, and there's two indoor pools and a very large complex of people. So it may be super, super crowded. And with the quarantine situation, we may not even get to get in. Um, but hopefully so. So we're gonna go over to the indoor pool that's in between them, that has the indoor pool and the lazy river and the hot tubs, then at least we have some options to do. So stay tuned. So after the pool, um, we'll come back, probably have some lunch. Um, I did get me a Starbucks this morning, it's pretty amazing. Um, and you can still see the waves for sure from your room, um, but we're making the best of it as much as we can. Hey guys, so I'm gonna go check out how the storm is looking. Um, we just went out the family. So we got Caitlin on the tablet. We've got dad asleep right here. We've got Blakely on the tablet. Sean asleep. And then in that room, we have mom asleep. So super fun. So I'm going to go down um, to the lobby um, real quick and just do a little bit of videoing. But that's <laughs> just funny um you can kind of see outside it's kind of calmed down a little bit let's just go see how bad the weather is okay so let's go check out some of the storm so and the storm has definitely subsided a little bit but it is definitely raining in check out the water everywhere check it out i don't know how good the video takes into this but it is crazy and it is a lot better now than it was about two hours ago. So, and we've been at the indoor pool almost all day, and then now we're back in the hotel room. Uh, the doors won't even open. It is crazy the amount of wind. Okay, so here's in the indoor pool. Honestly, not that many people. But, the amount of wind is crazy. Let's just go check out how much wind is out here. Oh, and the ceiling is definitely leaking. All right, are you ready to brave it? We're gonna brave the elements. Okay, it is at all not as bad as it was. The sun has actually come out. So let's check it out, shall we? We're actually gonna head down to the beach. See how bad it is. Oh yeah. 10 times better than it was before. But you can just see how ominous it looks. This is crazy. So this is Tropical Storm Bertha. Um, I wonder if it's gonna turn into a hurricane. I don't think it's going to. Um, we're still here for two more days. We'll see, but you got the trash cans all over. I see, I can say about 12 people, as far as I can see, is actually on the beach. Like, looks like there's a lifeguard over here. She tried to station herself so that they could be safe. Um, <laughs> question is, why do they have the chairs and umbrellas here? Because no one's gonna rent those right now. Um, but yeah, they've got their red flag up for tell you how dangerous it is. But 
look, you can see how dark the clouds are up here and how, and it is raining so right now, so it's like not really, really bad, so I won't be out here very long with my camera, but super, super windy. The rain is definitely happening. The waves were so, so rough. Um, you can see the swells are just huge um, for Myrtle Beach. I mean, this is not California. But you can see down here, there is nobody out here. There's this one man over here, and there looks like a family over here of like five people, five or six people down there, like, I don't know, seven hotels away. Um, and you can't even see the pier. Like, you can barely see the pier here. Um, and that pier is only 0.8 away. So just almost under a mile. Um, so not even a mile. This pier back here is 1.8 away, and you definitely can't even see it. So it is really ominous looking storm. I mean, check this out. Check out the way, there's your flags telling you how severe the weather is. And then here's our hotel, looking pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go check out again the inside um, of the hotel of what's happened so far. But check out these waves. Get down here closer to it. totally died down but you can still see the wind on the palm trees is, is pretty severe it's hard to see though oh gosh it's raining hard okay so now back in Grand Hotel, it's still raining pretty hard so the wind's picked up again uh, you can see they've already put all of the chairs up um, and there is no one out here of course because they'd be crazy right to be out here uh, but look at this pool oh gosh it's raining really hard I'm gonna try to protect my camera but look at the pool and the wind Brushing on it. Check it out. Just look at this. Whew. Okay, here we go. So I found a little overhang to stand underneath to keep my camera from getting just destroyed. But it is raining. Look at the palm trees right here. It gives us a tropical storm in front of that. Uh, and the, the waves and you can see the ocean is just getting harder and harder. I don't know how it's going to look tonight for sure because you know, it does get worse as the day goes on. Um, and then we have the pool, how the, the wind is just really blowing hard. Um, and it's just amazing how strong this wind is. And we're going to go in and, and, and every time you go into the hotel, you'll hear this awful squeaking noise where the wind is just whipping through the uh, the wind is actually whipping through the um, glass and everything, and anytime a little area opening just causes some severe wind. And it's actually crazy person who's in the pool, outside pool right now. That's, that's exciting. <laughs> but it's so wavy and so windy. It's so exciting. Just check this out. So wet. 
um, from where it's just blowing in. And you can hear that squeaking. Apparently flash flooding as well. So we're gonna try to see what we're gonna do. Um, right now we're just kind of taking it easy and just relaxing in our hotel room. So let's see what we can do. That will give you an update on Tropical Storm and Britain. Shark does have a shark. Uh huh. When you when you walk when you walk to it, it will bite you. If it was alive, yes. Okay, you see the bear. All right, let's go, girls. Let's go. Say bye, bye, bear. Bye, bye, bear. You did see the bear. We just got done eating at Angus Steak and Seafood. It was only like a quarter mile from our restaurant. Really good. A um, little pricey, 99 meal for surf and turf. So you got a six ounce sirloin, a lobster tail, and a side for 19.99. So it wasn't bad. And so I wasn't super, super hungry. So I ate the steak and the lobster tail for me. And then Blakely had the side. After I put in my uh vlog here that for the elderly in your party right next door to the angus steak and seafood is the yeah. kw cafeteria yeah. uh for those people 60 plus who love a cafeteria you guys cafeteria. can have that as well I so it I was uh, so it's only a quarter mile from the compass cove restaurant for those in your party some more donuts? back from dinner and there's a little bit of light left back out here and the wind has died down a little the surf is still super, super high for sure. Um, so we're gonna sit out on the beach and enjoy the last little bit of sunlight today. And everybody's out here, and there's the girls running around. They already definitely wanna go back to the pool, so as long as they can keep them out here, the better. I swear they would prefer to be at the pool only, not even come to the beach.